Okay, here we go. Hi guys, welcome back to Ask Nikki P. Before we hop right in, these videos are brought to you by Netflix. If you use the link netflix.com slash Nikki, you get a free 30 day trial to Netflix, unlimited streaming, movies, television shows, it's such a good deal. And everybody that I know that's ever canceled Netflix ends up just signing back up because it's so good. <laughs> All right, the question says, hey, Nikki and Dan, I've made a lot of mistakes in my past. and I don't think I will ever find someone who will accept me for me. Yeah, I've changed so much and forgiven myself, but I don't think that any boy could ever do the same. What should I do? Don't worry about it. Exactly. <laughs> I know we're talking in like, alternate universes here, but still, I can say with 100% confidence, if I had a different past than I did have, I know he still would have gotten with me um, because that's not really what makes me me. And yeah, it's a part of me and it definitely like affects me. You want to end up with a good guy and a good guy is going to love you for who you are now, not who you used to be. Yeah, if you're who you are and then you're like, oh, but I have this past and it's like, whoa, then never mind. It's like, then dude, douchebag dude. central. Yeah, it's not like, oh man, he was such a good guy, he just couldn't handle my past. It's like, no, then he's not the greatest guy. If he liked you until that point, then it's he's not the greatest guy. Um, because everyone has a past. Like, that's the thing. It's all kind of relative. And I know this is kind of getting religious, but I really believe this and I try to think about this. Like, a sin is a sin is a sin. Like meaning we all mess up and it's all kind of like the same. So we can point at someone else and be like, oh, well, what they did. But it's like, I'm over here maybe judging someone or there's just, there's just so much. It's just, there's so many things that could go down and they're all kind of on the same level and everyone has a past. So if someone will look at you and judge your past more harshly, if you're like this awesome person who's really striving to live a good life, then I don't know if you really want to be with that kind of person. Did that even make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So that's kind of our thoughts. I want to know your guys' like thoughts, opinions, all that stuff down below, but I feel like that was a pretty easy question to answer because that's just your self-doubt kicking in and fear, and you'll find the right person. Yeah? Yeah. That's my favorite place. So I'm going to answer, I'm going to jump into the Twitter question. Did you have anything else to say to that? That was easy. I need advice on getting over a breakup. I'm officially done with a dear relationship of three years and I'm having a rough time. I don't really know if there is any advice other than time and writing it out. Yeah, if you said, if you said you're already having a bad time, tough time with it, then, um, yeah, definitely don't jump into another relationship right away. Yeah, because you're still reeling from this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's definitely... And don't follow him on Facebook or check up on him either. Oof. Dude, I feel for people because I know, like, man, it's so tempting to check up on people. But it just doesn't... It's just... No. No. Don't do it. Give yourself some time. I mean, I've had break... Like, breakups in the past from guys that I wasn't even that serious with. And we weren't even really together. And I was, like, upset for a while. And I thought, this is never going to go away. And now I can fully think back <laughs> on the whole situation. And I'm like, dude, I like hardly feel anything. Like maybe a tinge of embarrassment, but not like devastation. Like I genuinely felt before. Like guys, I genuinely felt like, <gasps> like I'd just been stabbed and betrayed and devastated. And I'm not comparing that to yours mm -hmm. at all. But that's kind of the point is that those things, it was like a couple months. You were with someone for years. So give yourself the time, allow yourself to feel the pain because I was actually listening to a Rick Warren podcast the other day and he was talking about this, that when like devastating things happen in your life, if you don't allow yourself to feel it, it's going to explode at some other point. Like you have to allow yourself to have that explosion and that grief and the crying and the sadness because it's just going to bubble and develop into a whole nother issue down the line if you don't take care of it. Um, and I think that taking care of it is allowing yourself to feel that way. Yeah. What? I'm just really lucky I never had to go through a breakup. Yeah, it's hard. So, no, it that it is. It's hard, and it's okay that it's hard. It's not like, geez, you're so weak. Get it together. It's like it's difficult, and you have to heal from that. So I'm sorry that you have been going through that, and, um, yeah, write it out. And in the meantime, while you're writing it out, you know, allow yourself to grieve. Also, 
Um, dive into things that you love too. Dive into friendships. Dive into if you're really involved in your work or your school, you know, allow yourself to dive into that and be good at that and feel what that's like. And yeah, I hope that any of that made sense. Yeah. And read books on the stuff that you like to. Yes. Reading actually self-help books, which I don't know why it got such a bad title, like self-help, but self reading self-help books is like the most... It's so reassuring because it puts into perspective that all your human emotions are like normal and they really help you walk through them. So I'll link down below. Um, I did a video on my main channel called my favorite life coaches, pastors, and podcasts. So we'll link that down below so that if you want, if you're like, where do I begin? Because there's just so many people. Those are some of my favorites. So if you want to watch that video and kind of see that, then yeah. Okay. Is it playa? Is that the Twitter question? Mm-hmm. Dang. I know. So you have anything to say before we go? See ya next time I'm back on this channel. Never. He's never coming back. Falling in love February. Fall!